Shoji is going into her second season as UNLV's head volleyball coach. She's fighting for wins on and off the court, proving she's more than just her last name. Our Sienna Pillotin reports from Las Vegas. The niece of a legendary Hawaii head coach is making a name for herself on the ninth island. I come from a longtime volleyball family, and so I kind of joked that volleyball was our family business. Malia Shoji carries a last name famous in the volleyball community from her cousins Eric and Kavika Shoji on the U.S. national team to her uncle Dave Shoji, the winningest coach in NCAA Division I women's volleyball history. It 100% opens doors for me, and I feel like super blessed and privileged to have that, you know, but I actually fought against that a lot early in my career where I was like, well, I don't want to just be Dave Shoji's niece. I don't know, I just know authentically I'm not as like serious or intense maybe as he is in his style but I think the same you know standards of high performance and excellence and um, the competitiveness that that he has is definitely uh, something that I have. After over a decade of assistant coaching gigs Malia finally earned the title of head coach. In January 2023 she'd land at UNLV where she'd lead the Rebels to 19 wins and a third place finish in the Mountain West. When she first came here, it was so funny. She came and said, this is a successful program and you, we have talented girls here and I want us to go to the Sweet 16. And for her to just set that standard high the second she, come, like she came here, I was just like, oh, like she wants it. The minute I stepped foot on campus, I just fell in love with it and I knew it was where I was supposed to be. Um, it was the people, it was the family connections. And those family connections brought two local players to the program. And I remember growing up in the Stan Sheriff Center and being like, I can't wait to play like at the Division One level or just even get to college and play a sport. And so for her to be here with me, it's almost like we have the same intentions, same goals as what we want to accomplish when we leave here. We had Eric Shoji come once, so that was awesome. Like. We were completely fangirling when he showed up and that was just like probably one of the best moments <laughs> ever and then like he was able to watch us play and then give us feedback. The Rebels look to avenge last year's loss in the quarterfinals of the Mountain West Championship Tournament. As the upcoming season approaches, the team will travel to Hawaii later this month for spring matches against Chaminade and UH. Reporting from UNLV, Rebel, two, one, two. Rebel. Sienna Pelletan, Hawaii News Now.